Greetings to all. Today's topic is on cell division. The content standard under KSSM is 6.1 cell division and 6.2 cell cycle and mitosis. The learning standard are 6.1.1 describe karyokinesis that is nuclear division and cytokinesis that is cytoplasmic division. 6.1.2 describe the term cyploid, diploid, chromatin, homologous chromosome, paternal chromosome and maternal chromosome. 6.2.1 describe the phases in a cell cycle, interphase, G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. Success criteria are first, differentiate nuclear division and cytokinesis. Second, define haploid, diploid, chromatin, homologous chromosome, paternal chromosome, and maternal chromosome. And the third success criteria is explain G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. Now, why cell division important? First, it is to replace the dead cells. Second, for growth, cell division allows an organism to grow bigger. The third reason is for reproduction of organism. Unicellular organism, like bacteria, reproduce by dividing into two. Sexual reproduction in multicellular organism occurs when sperms and egg cells are made from the division of cells in the reproductive organs. There are two stages of cell division. The first one is karyokinesis, that is the division of nucleus. And the second one is cytokinesis, that is the division of cytoplasm. Organisms' body cells are divided into two types, that are somatic cell and gametes or reproductive cell. Somatic cells are produced through the mitosis process whereas gametes are produced through the meiosis process. Somatic cells contains a diploid number of chromosomes that means each cell contains two sets of chromosomes or 2N. In human, somatic cells 2N is equal to 46 number of chromosomes. In gamete, it contains a haploid number of chromosomes. That means each cell contains only one set of chromosome or N. In human, the gamete is 23 chromosome. Now, we go into details on diploid cells. Diploid cells are the cells that have two sets of chromosome. One set of chromosome come from the male parent or paternal chromosome. The other set of chromosome come from the female parent or maternal chromosome. Both sets of chromosome that are structurally the same will pair to form a structure called homologous chromosome. It means that homologous chromosome will have one set of chromosome from the male parent and the other set from the female parent. The diagram shows haploid and diploid chromosomes. The haploid or N are the chromosomes without the pairs. There are three haploid chromosomes in the diagram. The diploid or 2N are the chromosomes with its pair and there are three pairs of homologous chromosome in the diagram. One set of paternal chromosome, one set of maternal chromosome. The next term that you need to know is chromatin. Chromatin is actually chromosomes. The only difference is 
Chromatin is the chromosome that looks like a long thread. It is actually a double-stranded DNA that is coiled around the histone proteins. Now, we move into cell cycle. What is cell cycle? Well, cell cycle refers to a sequence of events that involve multiplication of DNA and cell division to produce two daughter cells. Cell cycle consists of two phases that are interphase and M phase. Interphase consists of G1 S and G2 phase. M phase consists of mitosis and cytokinesis. Now we go into detail for G1 phase under interphase. During G1 phase, the cells grow. Cells components such as mitochondrion and endoplasmic reticulum are produced at this stage. Proteins used in the cell cycle are also synthesized during this time. At this stage, the nucleus looks big and the chromosome is in the form of chromatin. What happened during S phase in interphase? Well, DNA synthesis occurs in the S phase. The DNA in the nucleus is replicated. Each chromosome multiplies into two identical chromosomes known as sister chromatids. Both chromatids contain the same copy of DNA molecule and both chromatids are joined at the centromere, the pink color in the diagram. G2 phase during interphase. In G2 phase, the cell will continue to grow and remain active metabolically. Cells gather energy and make final arrangement to enter the next stage, that is the M phase. The next phase is M phase. M phase is made up of Mitosis and cytokinesis. Mitosis involve prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. That's the end of the cell cycle, and the cycle will repeat again. That's all for today's class. Go to your classwork tab in your Google Classroom for the assessment on this topic. Like my video and don't forget to subscribe Madam No Shamsia YouTube channel. Love you all. Stay safe.